Hello everyone, welcome to Scoreboard Gaming, in today's video, we're gonna look 4 forgotten Disney games. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe, also, hit the notification button, so let's go straight to the video. Tron 2.0 Tron 2.0 is a first-person shooter game developed by Monolith Productions and published by Disney for the PC. Released in 2003, the game is set in the universe of the Tron film franchise and offers players a unique and immersive digital world to explore. In the game, players take on the role of Alan Bradley's son, Jethro Jet Bradley, who is transported into the digital realm of Tron. The gameplay combines first-person shooting mechanics with elements of RPG and platforming. Players wield a variety of digital weapons and tools, engaging in battles against various hostile programs and enemies. The game's signature feature is the upgrade system, where players earn build points to enhance Jet's abilities and customize his digital suit. These upgrades provide additional combat options and enhance the player's strategic approach to battles. The game's graphics capture the iconic visual style of the Tron universe. The digital world is rendered with a blend of neon colors and futuristic architecture, creating an immersive atmosphere that reflects the film's distinctive aesthetics. The graphics contribute to the game's unique identity, transporting players into a digital realm filled with recognizable motifs from the Tron franchise. Tron 2.0 features an original story that expands upon the concepts introduced in the Tron films. The narrative delves into the inner workings of the digital world, exploring themes of corruption, identity, and the relationships between users and their digital counterparts. The game's story-driven approach adds depth to the gameplay, offering players an engaging and immersive experience as they uncover the mysteries of the digital realm. In conclusion, Tron 2.0 offers players the opportunity to step into the digital realm of Tron and engage in a first-person shooter experience filled with upgradable abilities immersive graphics, and a captivating narrative. Whether you're a fan of the Tron films, enjoy first-person shooters with RPG elements, or appreciate games that transport you into futuristic worlds, Tron 2.0 invites you to dive into a digital adventure where battles and discovery await. Gargoyles Gargoyles for the Sega Genesis is an action platformer game based on the popular animated television series of the same name. Released in 1995, the game offers players the chance to take on the role of Goliath, the leader of the Gargoyles, as he battles enemies and protects the city from various threats. In the game, players control Goliath as he traverses through different levels, battling enemies, solving puzzles, and collecting items. The gameplay combines action platformer mechanics with elements of exploration and combat. Goliath can engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as utilize special abilities to defeat adversaries. The game features a variety of levels inspired by locations from the television series, and players must navigate obstacles and enemies to progress. The game's graphics capture the distinctive visual style of the Gargoyles animated series. The character sprites and environments are well designed, bringing the Gargoyles universe to life on the Sega Genesis. The visuals showcase a mix of dark and atmospheric settings, reflecting the tone of the show. The graphics contribute to the immersive experience, immersing players in the world of Gargoyles and allowing them to engage with familiar characters and locations. Gargoyles follows the show's premise, where Goliath and his companions awaken from their thousand-year slumber to protect New York City from various threats. The game's story captures the essence of the television series, offering players an opportunity to experience Goliath's battles against his enemies and his efforts to safeguard the city. The atmosphere and storyline appeal to fans of the Gargoyles franchise and provide a nostalgic experience for those familiar with the animated series. In conclusion, Gargoyles for the Sega Genesis offers an action-packed experience that allows players to step into the shoes of Goliath and engage in battles against enemies while exploring familiar locations from the animated series. Whether you're a fan of Gargoyles, enjoy action platformer gameplay, or appreciate games that capture the essence of beloved TV shows, Gargoyles invites you to embark on a nostalgic adventure filled with action, exploration, and heroism. Stitch, Experiment 626 Stitch, Experiment 626 is an action-adventure game developed by High Voltage Software and published by Disney for the PS2. 
Released in 2002, the game is based on the character Stitch from the Disney animated film Lilo and Stitch. In Experiment 626, players control the mischievous and genetically engineered alien creature known as Stitch. The gameplay combines action, platforming, and puzzle-solving mechanics. Players guide Stitch through various levels, battling enemies, avoiding obstacles, and completing objectives. The game features a mix of combat sequences where Stitch utilizes his unique abilities, as well as platforming segments that require precise jumps and movement to navigate obstacles. The game's graphics capture the colorful and whimsical art style of the Lilo and Stitch franchise. The character models and environments are designed to reflect the animated film's aesthetics, immersing players in the playful world of Stitch and his adventures. The graphics contribute to the immersive experience, recreating the charm and atmosphere of the Lilo and Stitch universe on the PlayStation 2. Stitch Experiment 626 is set in the same universe as the Lilo and Stitch film. The game serves as a prequel, exploring the backstory of Stitch and his origins as Experiment 626. Players embark on a journey that delves into Stitch's life before he meets Lilo. The game captures the lighthearted and adventurous spirit of the Lilo and Stitch franchise, offering players an opportunity to interact with beloved characters and experience Stitch's escapades. In conclusion, Disney's Stitch, Experiment 626 invites players to step into the world of Stitch and engage in action-packed adventures filled with platforming challenges, combat, and puzzle solving. Whether you're a fan of Lilo and Stitch, enjoy action-adventure gameplay, or appreciate games that capture the spirit of animated films, Stitch, Experiment 626 offers a playful and entertaining experience that allows you to accompany Stitch on his prequel journey and become part of his unique universe. Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers for the NES is a classic platformer game developed and published by Capcom. Released in 1990, the game is based on the popular animated TV series of the same name and features the beloved chipmunk duo Chip and Dale as they embark on a mission to rescue a missing kitten named Gadget. In Chip and Dale, players can choose to control either Chip or Dale as they navigate through various levels filled with obstacles, enemies, and puzzles. The gameplay is centered around platforming mechanics, where players jump, climb, and throw objects to overcome challenges. A unique feature of the game is the ability to pick up and toss objects as weapons or to defeat enemies. Additionally, players can collect items, such as acorns, to use as projectiles. The game's graphics capture the colorful and vibrant art style of the Chip and Dale TV show. The character sprites and environments are designed to resemble the animated series, bringing the world of Chip and Dale to life on the NES. The graphics contribute to the nostalgic experience, immersing players in a world reminiscent of the animated series they fondly remember. One of the standout features of Rescue Rangers is its cooperative multiplayer mode. Players can choose to team up with a friend to play through the game simultaneously. This adds a layer of social interaction and teamwork, as players work together to overcome challenges and progress through the levels. In conclusion, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers for the NES offers a delightful and nostalgic platforming experience that allows players to join the iconic Chipmunk duo on a rescue mission filled with challenges and fun. Whether you're a fan of the TV show, enjoy classic platformers, or appreciate games that transport you back to the golden era of gaming, Rescue Rangers invites you to relive the adventures of Chip and Dale as they embark on a journey to save Gadget and thwart the plans of their mischievous foes. And that's it for today's video, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments, thank you so much to watch, I'll see you soon, bye.